gnocchi in a nutshell. Okay, what you're going to want to do is bake some potatoes until they're nice and soft. Scoop the innards out into a potato ricer. Then rice the potatoes on a nice fine setting. Once you've got a good amount of potatoes riced, then spread them all out onto a flat, floured work surface, like the dining room table here. Uh, beat together some eggs with some spices and some salt. Then you're going to want to pour the egg over the uh, potatoes, add some flour, and then once you have this lovely concoction on your nice table, basically you're going to knead it all together into a kind of a soft dough. Um, just keep adding flour until it stops getting sticky. Um, you will get sticky and messy. And then take a chunk of your dough, roll it out into a snake shape, and then behead the snake and chop the body of the snake into one inch pieces, like so. And then take each individual piece and roll it over the back of a fork until it rolls onto itself and you get that lovely familiar gnocchi shape. Doesn't that look good? Rinse and repeat until you've used all your dough and you should end up with a whole lot of nice little gnocchi pieces. The next step is to put together the sauce we chose to go with a simple uh, bacon tomato sauce, so fry up some onions, add some diced tomatoes, from a tin is fine, and then uh, add your bacon. We chose to pre-fry our bacon, but that's up to you. And the final step is to cook your gnocchi, so uh, get a pot of water and get it up to boiling temperature and then add your gnocchi pieces. Um, just a few at a time, and when they float to the top, that's how you know they're ready, like this. Scoop them out with a sieve, put them on a plate, uh, and then put it all together. Finishing touches with the grated fresh parmesan and fresh basil, and you're good to go. Delicious. Enjoy, guys.